What's going on everyone? I'm here at the Traveler 6000 uh, project here. And we're going to go in and get an update. Uh, bad thing is, Doug is not here. So uh, he actually took the engine down to, I think he went to Oklahoma with the engine. He's going to be gone for a week. But I came into the, uh, the hangar here, and there's a couple guys here working in the hangar. What's going on, John? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you some lights. Yeah, so John is working on the, the unheated area right now, hanging lights, and there's another John here. It's pretty easy. This is going to be our small parts paint room. We're just working on the intake and exhaust features right now. Got a little more painting to do inside, and uh, I'm just getting ready to make a test run on to see if it's going to work. So this is what they have for lighting right now. Regular old fluorescent, but they, they bought a few 5,000 luminant LEDs. Look at that. Look at the difference. So what did you build here? I just built the box to, uh, so that our air handler can actually circulate and it goes outside. And then it'll go outside once we get that other fan run. Okay. Well, we are uh, getting rid of the old style lighting in here, and uh, you probably saw the lights on the other side. And uh, um, when it comes to, you know, trying to get that perfect finish on something and trying to really, really have that show quality on something, it doesn't do you much good to work in the dark when no one's going to be looking at it in the dark. So while this doesn't have a lot of prestigious nature to it, um, it goes a long way in the finished product. Just for everybody, all the volunteers and Doug being able to really be on spec and, and uh, see the quality work that we're, they're doing here. So by the time Doug gets back, I won't have it completely done, uh, but it's going to be pretty good and it'll be about ready to start uh, um, start handling projects in here. What else have you worked on? Um, well, all the lights in the other hangar, I hung those and then again, that's not really exciting. Um, but I did uh, the work on the, uh, the elevators and the um, horizontal stabilizer, um, cutting out the, uh, the uh, trailing tubing and then the leading edge, working on that, and uh, oh, what else did I do? Worked on the ailerons, uh, cleaning them up, getting them ready. And of course, my dad, Leroy, he was one that's, uh, uh, him and John Nance are the, another John. Uh, they're putting the trailing edges on them, so that's what they're working on. So and anything else Doug asks, asks me to do. He says, here, go do this, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but he shows me, and then I get an education all at the same time. All right, uh, so since Doug's gone, there's no work on the airplane, because he is the AMP, uh, IA, the inspector, all that good stuff. So no one's working on the airplane, but they are getting the workshops and everything all put together. There's not a lot to show this week, and I try to make it home in time to show the engine being loaded up. You guys can see here, there is some progress though. See these formers here from last week? This is what they were working on and it looks like they have some strings here to try to true up some stuff. So this is the old framing of all the wood. Uh, Doug showed this yes, or last week. Uh, here's the windows, okay? You guys look here, there's copper tubing. So this goes from the uh, the wing fuel tank goes down and will go to the engine, to the forward part of the engine. All right, so when this is all said and done, it's going to be all brand new, and we can kind of start looking at this and comparing all the different pieces. Right in here is where the copper would come through. Okay, the copper is going to come through here and then go towards the front, towards where the engine is, the firewall. Well, I'll be glad when Doug gets here so he can explain a lot more of this stuff, but as you guys can see, these old antique airplanes, 20s and 30s, a lot of wings are built out of wood. 
Sitka spruce, also with plywood and uh, other, other woods also, but um, mahogany and, and things like that. But Sitka spruce is for the spars um, and even the ribs at times because it's a very true straight uh, grain wood, no knots and things like that. You don't want a knot in a, in a spar of an airplane. But you guys can see here little nail holes. These are called brads. But when they glue it, they take these nails and they actually kind of nail down the wood to the other part so to hold it. And then the glue will set up, okay? And really there's no structural strength with these brads. But it holds everything in place until the glue sets up. And how you can tell that you have a good glue joint, if you ever tear the wood apart, the wood should break before the glue joint breaks. Look at this big spar here. Look how huge that thing is. And it's an I-beam, if you look here. So here's a piece of wood here. Looks like it's a laminated spar here between two, uh, looks like maybe two pieces of plywood. And then there's a piece up here, so it's an I-beam. And then there's spruce on the side of that. And then it's sandwiched with gussets. These are these outer marks are gussets. This thing is this is a bridge. You could walk across it, drive across it with a tank, and it, it won't it won't fail. Here's a little fun fact for you. These are Model A car window operating mechanisms. So you can order these brand new uh, aftermarket Model A parts. And this is how they operated these old antique airplanes. The windows and the doors all were Model A car parts. All right, uh, John Haas, the one that's building the uh, paint booth. So he's here. And John, what, what have you been working on with the project since it's been here? Well, we've been here for two months or two years this month. And uh, whatever needs done, we do it. Uh, it could be building maintenance, it could be building the paint room, uh, cutting out ribs, uh, working on the uh, fuselage, cleaning up a lot. We, we always want to make sure we clean up. Yep. Uh, what, do you, what have you worked on on the travel area itself? Well, I've worked on uh, the side ribs, the or bulkheads. Uh, I did uh, work on the fuselage, sanding it, cleaning it. Boy, there's, there's an awful lot to do. Uh, take, the big thing was taking it apart. Right. And uh, making sure we tried not to bust up the parts too bad so that we got patterns to mm -hmm. use. So it sounds like you worked on about every part. Yeah, we do a little bit of everything. Whatever Doug wants done, he, he assigns us a, a task and we try to complete it without damaging anything. That's cool. Well, I appreciate it. I know there's not a big update this week because Doug's not here. It'd be great if he was here. He's kind of the, the guru on all this stuff. Yes, he is. He's, and, uh, he's a team leader. That's right. Project engineer. <laughs>
See you next week. Take care. Till then, blue skies.